not at first, but he did show up, Joanne, when he was notified. Take a look behind me here. We can't zoom in too close because we have federal agents here. Now, feds have been here all afternoon hauling away heavy equipment. They're just now wrapping up. And today, new charges come down against Bobby Ferguson, accusing him of trying to conceal $1.7 million that he allegedly extorted. This afternoon, federal agents swarmed the site of Ferguson Enterprises in Detroit, tagging, towing, and seizing Bobby Ferguson's heavy contracting equipment. Ferguson and his old friend, ex-mayor Kwame Kilpatrick, are co-defendants in a federal racketeering case. And after Ferguson and his attorney agreed to open up the property and let the feds in this afternoon, they apparently had no idea federal prosecutors were about to drop another bomb on Ferguson, adding seven counts of money laundering to the seemingly mountain of a case against him. You're always surprised when the government does something like this. But, you know, they're doing what they can do to put a man who's already out of business further out of business. And you're looking right now at the sign that uh, really was uh, telling you where Bobby Ferguson Enterprises were. He had somebody out here today trying to cover that sign up by painting it black, but you can still see Ferguson Enterprises through it. Now, I did ask Ferguson's attorney how many people are still employed by Ferguson and, uh, Enterprises, excuse me, and he said none. But if you believe federal investigators, Ferguson was greedy, arrogant, and operated above the law. Reporting live in Detroit's West Side, Kimberly Craig, Channel 7 Action News.